Welcome back to Real Fishing 3, the finale. Today we are taking a look at the bonus content of this game. This is the post-credits content. After you catch the monster char, and you have caught one of every size category of every species in this game, you will get a notice or a letter about the giant king salmon that the girl's dad said uh, inhabited these waters here in Alaska. So when you come over here to the Salmon River, uh, it's the only fish in this level. It's very difficult to see on this capture of the game but uh on a crt tv you can see the mostly just the fish's tail and just a little bit right in the center of the screen you might be able to see this fish's tail if you uh look really closely so it's a hard fish to get bites with and when it does bite it bites quickly you've got to be really ready to hit that x button immediately or uh, hope that you're reeling and the fish kind of hooks itself this is the second battle i had with this fish but each one took about 10 or 15 minutes maybe of casting before I would get a bite from this fish. It's the only fish in the level, as I said. Uh, I've tried lots of different lures. Uh, the ones that I was successful on were the uh, the terrestrial grasshopper. That's a That was a plus eight, I think, in the score for this fish. I did put the strongest line on that I could because I wanted the best chance to get this fish in. Now, this fight is pretty epic. It, this does fit what should be like a final boss of the game, of our super boss of the game. Mostly what makes this difficult is this fish tends to stay right along the bottom here, and uh, when the fish gets by these rocks, the rocks can can help you and it can also hinder you. They mostly hinder you, but in that case, uh, we've seen this fish a couple times try to go on a run, and when the fish hits the rocks and is trying to go on that run, uh, the AI of the game does not usually have the fish try to go around it. The fish will just try to make its run. But as you saw right there, that cycle, the fish was kind of snagged on the bottom. And so during the what should be a real cycle, I was able to get nothing on that fish. I missed an entire cycle because it was just stuck there until it goes into this, uh, you know, the run animation, the run cycle and the real cycle is kind of how these battles go. We reel a little bit, they run, we have to fight them and turn them around, and you hope to try to gain an advantage over time. But if you are ever sloppy, the fish can sometimes get, uh, you know, a double run or a really long run going if you're not really uh, quick to put the pressure on and uh, manage your line tension appropriately. So, we're able to kind of make up little bits on this fish, but the time that I lost it, it was st sticking on rocks all the time, and I missed a bunch of cycles, and then eventually the hook worked itself loose. And this fight, we'll see it happen a few times, but not as often as the other one. You can hear me doing the real tapping. Every time that fish runs, I'm really keeping the pressure on. I have the strongest line that this level allows on this, uh, on this rod, so I'm not as worried about breaking the line, so you can hear me really putting the tension on. But if you do get to where the line starts to sing, as you can hear that, if the fish doesn't get tired and turned quickly and the line gets into trouble mode, you can lose a ton of line, a ton of uh, gains that you've made on this battle. So I try to be aggressive without actually getting it into uh, the line tension singing mode. So it's a real tough balance you have to strike with this fish, and it might take a little bit of getting used to. But the good thing is, if you've been playing this game regularly, if you're not coming in cold into this fight, you will have a lot of experience fighting bigger fish, and you'll know how to handle it. You'll be a little bit more prepared for what's coming here. I would not recommend this to be the first fish you fight for a while on this one. So I wouldn't uh, come back to an old save file months later after playing this game. Uh, I was really pretty deep into playing this game. I had the skills down. I had the timing down. And uh, so I was able to overcome this fish, as we'll see here in a couple of minutes. But it's a very tense fight. It really, really is a tough one. And you can see where the, the choppy animation is here. I think that's the fish dragging on the bottom. It's kind of going from one bottom obstacle to another. It seems, it's what it looks like to me and what it kind of feels like. So trying to avoid those rocks is, is tough because if you reel a fish right into a rock and the fish is deep enough, like right here I'm going over one of these boulders, but if the fish is on the bottom right there, it would have gotten stuck. I would have lost that cycle. On smaller fish, you can sometimes pull the rod to one side or the other and kind of turn their head a little bit. Uh, this one, I was never able to really do that no matter what I did with my rod. So I lost a couple of cycles, and you've seen them in this fight. If you can rewatch it, I guess. The fish has lost some run cycles to those rocks, and I've lost a couple run cycles to that one. I, I noticed that obstacles in this game are not normally quite so troublesome. In the woods level, some of those logs get a little bit messy for you. Some of those logs get uh, kind of trouble. But most levels don't have any obstacles that are really going to cause you any problem. 
So again, this one comes in the form of, uh, I think it's a, a journal entry. I think it's one of the last pages of the journal entry that will come after you have unlocked every species of fish in this game that uh, tell you of this, of this giant one. So actually the last fish that I caught from my fish Pokedex was the mature pink salmon in this level because I had to come back in the late spring or summertime to actually just find one. Because according to the game, they come back in the summertime and every other year it says they come back in greater numbers. So I didn't see any the first time I went. I didn't see any when I went back in the fall uh, season. The winter season, the fishing is closed in this game. So when you hit winter time, it rolls from fall into spring. You see an animation for winter time and then it brings you to the spring. So I went in the late spring to this one to get that last salmon. But this guy didn't appear right away. As I said, I had to go back to the um, back to the Aqua Lodge and spend a night there. And that's when I got the journal entry that says there's a giant king salmon in these waters. And I came right back and uh, we're set up for the final boss battle here. The fish does not always spawn right in the middle of the level. It uh, spawns in different places. And uh, there was one time where I missed a hook set on it because I was tapping the X button to bring in my lure, and it uh, moved to a different place. It doesn't give you much warning, as I said, when it does bites, so you gotta be ready to set that hook. And you have to cast at it a lot, even with its favorite lures, the best setup you can have, you have to cast at it a number of times. So there it is, the Giant King Salmon, the final boss of this game, the, the bonus boss, I should say, of this game. And we'll uh, go ahead and take a look at the... <laughs> Length of the body. This is another unrealistic uh, length to weight ratio right here. A fish that is six feet, nine inches, nearly seven feet long would weigh much more than 40 pounds, 30.99 um, pounds. That's a pretty unrealistic thing that, I mean, it the fish is as large as a, an adult human and it would weigh almost as much as an adult human. So here we are back in the <laughs> back in the guide and we've seen about the carp room the legendary carp room and the info of this one is interesting a mysterious room known to exist but without any established route of access and it's a room now this is a tradition in the real fishing series real fishing 2 has what's called panda lake once you've unlocked every uh, fish species in real fishing 2 you can visit panda lake as a kind of a silly bonus level this is the silly bonus level of this game we are in a uh what looks like a Japanese room with it, with the um, the woven carpet and the decorative paper walls. It says you are here, and there's just a paper butterfly. Um, there's decorative paper walls, as I said, in this room. It looks like these sliding doors that are popular in uh, many Japanese buildings. Um, but we can actually cast into the wall. Yes, we cast into the wall and hooked these fish that are painted on the wall, what it looks like decorative painted koi fish we uh, have hooked. So this is a pretty high concept bonus area, I guess you would say. It uses the same music as the Salmon River and uh, I guess some different <laughs> different textures. In Real Fishing 2, if you want to check out the video about Panda Lake, you can see the playlist uh, in the description of this video. That one, the fish are all flat 2D planes instead of a, a 3D looking uh, model. They're just their flat sprites. And they are all, there's more species than in this room, and they're all silly pun names with funny descriptions that uh, I, I, would, I would recommend at least reading on that video if you're not able to uh, play that game. So this is the, the kind of silly for fun level, although this one's much more tamed down. The Panda Lake is, has a garish animated cartoony looking uh, layout, and the fish are all cartoony looking, and the music is quite quite uh I don't know, quite something you could say it's not as relaxing and peaceful as the rest of the game's music so this is a black carp just over three feet 18 pounds and the other fish in this room is the red carp not as easy to hook as you'll see i'll um, do a little jump here to get the attention of the red carp you'll usually know if you've got these fish's attention right away when you uh when the lure hits the water they'll start to move so I'm going to cast out, trying to get to that red carp, and you see I've attracted the black carp there. Pull it back, and you see the fish goes right back into being a, a part of the wall, part of the decorations of the wall. So I'm trying to get that red carp's attention. According to the game fact I read before this, the red carp is quite a fighter, and we will see what that looks like here in just a moment. Here it comes to my, uh, my butterfly lure. And this fish does go through quite a long uh, sequence. Although it looks like the way the 
perspective is tilted. It looks like we're fighting this fish kind of vertically up this wall. So you can see the, the line looks like it's uh, making a wake in the paper of the wall is what it's, I, I believe is what it looks like. You, if you go to the menu in this level, by the way, you cannot change your tackle. The, the tackle menu is grayed out. So you, your gear is fixed. I don't know what the line strength is supposed to be. I don't know if there's any other lure choices than just the butterfly. That's all you've got. So this clearly looks like a uh, just a big overgrown goldfish. I'm sure that's what it's supposed to look like, a uh, decorative koi fish. Uh, this goes by red carp in the game. But after we catch this fish, that is really it. There's not any kind of bonus content at the end of this that I could find anyway. I've checked off all of my fish species. I've been to all of the places. It seems like the regular credits are the regular credits. There aren't any additional um, animated sequences. There's not more uh, letter content. We'll see the completed puzzle, which we haven't talked much about, but we'll talk about that once we get back to the Aqua Lodge. After this fight, you can see that was quite a run right there by the red carp. I don't know how, uh, quote-unquote, big the fighting area is here. I assume that there's some boundary somewhere on the left, right, and back. So there's kind of a, you know, fourth wall uh, right here at the surface of this paper. So it's hard to tell where this fish is or how much room it has to maneuver around. As we saw, the, um, you know, the giant king salmon had a lot of barriers and obstacles to work around. So there's the red carp. And that's the last fish species in this game that we needed to check out. That's pretty much this whole level. So as bonus levels go, it's a pretty short one. I can't really go anywhere in there. So we're going to go to the taco room and look at the puzzle. As you go through this game, as you unlock each new level, you uh, get these pieces of this hanging puzzle. And uh, you can see we've completed it, which shows that we've completed the game. Uh, it does tell you what the what the accomplishment was in each level as you work around. The um, the boss fish are in the middle there, and there's a couple other milestones, like finding the old lure and the friendship oath that's in the bottle that we saw in the credit sequence, the journal diary. And then in the middle there, these there is the butterfly representing the carp room. So you get the big head carp, the monster char, the giant king salmon. And that is pretty much everything. So Real Fishing 3, fun game. I enjoyed playing through this one. It was nice to present this to you. If you like any of these videos, please let me know. I love reading the comments, um, especially when they're uh, right about these games and uh, sharing some of your thoughts, memories, and opinions on what you think about these games. Hit me up on Twitter where I'm also active underscore A-T-E. More fish things to come maybe in the next year or so. Also Japanese RPGs coming up. We'll see you in the next video.